when it comes to eating flavoursome, mouth-watering food, I know how important herbs are to the flavour drive that we all crave. Growing your own herbs at home is probably the simplest thing you can do. And we're very lucky in WA to have an incredible herb production nursery on the edge of town called Swan Valley Nursery. Now, I've picked up a heap of those Swan Valley Nursery kitchen essential herbs, the types that you use every day, and I've taken them to my mate Theo Caligarakis' house. He's going to take these flavours and create some incredible pizza recipes. Now, it's what you do with the herbs that's really important. You see, they do add amazing flavour in the kitchen. And the best place for me to take them is to a food expert who really knows his stuff. Of course, world pizza champion, Theo, mate. How are you? It's important to remember that these delicious herbs can be harvested fresh from the pot initially. The trimming delivers you the first flush of aromatic foliage, but it also trims the plant, ensuring it gets bushier, providing even more succulent, flavoursome foliage just a few weeks later. Theo, it's hot and spicy oregano, or in the US, as you'd probably call it, oregano. That's how they say it. Yeah. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, that's nice. Is that good? Yeah. All right, I've got a pizza for you. All right. Just going to put down some fresh garlic. No red sauce, OK? OK. That's really nice. So I don't want to actually steal any flavour away from it. OK. We just want to add to it. This is a... What have we got here? Fresh buffalo mozzarella. Buffalo mozzarella. Yeah. I've had buffalo mozzarella. Sensational. It's sensational. You don't yeah. need a lot of it, because it does melt. And there is a high water content. So okay. now we've got uh, normal so... potatoes that I've roasted. And potato with oregano goes perfect. Yeah. So I'm actually adding some sweet potato for oh. some sweetness to it, too. Oh. And that's it. There's no sauce. When it comes out, I'm going to drizzle some oil on it. Yeah. And then we're going to rip up the fresh herbs. Yeah. Should be ready. What's next? Let's go eggplant parmesan. Okay. So I'm going to put a bit of sauce. I want to put extra garlic in that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to finish all these pizzas off with your beautiful herbs and some other little garnishes Otherwise, that we Otherwise, you're just going to cook all the flavour out of the herbs. Correct. You? you want them fresh. They're vibrant. That's what we're after. So this is the potato one, which had no oil on it. This is going to be pretty different, I think. It's very different. I wanted the oregano. You're sort of rubbing it and ripping it at the same time. And okay. you can tell you've done a good job when you smell your fingers yep. and the oil has been released in that. A little bit of salt, salt and pepper and once again a little bit of oil. It's fantastic. All right. Now let's finish off with our eggplant parmesan. So which time did you want? Do you want to try the lemon? A little bit of lemon, I reckon. Yeah. That's all we want. This is making such great use of, of herbs. They are just amazing recipes and you know what? This is all about great food. If you don't want to make them yourselves at home, you could always pop into one of your stores. No, Mundaring's my local, but you've Leadable got Leadable. and uh, Hillary's. OK, so it covers all the metro area. Little Caesars pizzas, you do not want to miss them. They are sensational. Thanks, Theo. Mate, thank you for coming. And with the herbs. And the herbs. No dramas. Now, can I just... Uh, you can have one. You're a good man. <laughs>